Let's look at some of the features of 3D Studio Max 2020. One of the first features I quite like in looking at 2020 is the importation of Revit models. Now this is obviously something that's very popular with a lot of our clients and that workflow is uh, very you know is a very common workflow. So for example if I come to our Revit uh, import here so file import import over here if I click on a, a Revit file it's a simple file I've created nothing special because I just want it to load relatively quickly so that you can see what I'm up against so if I look at the importation here we have the same as we've had before which is the view we're going to import in this case it's just the 3d view and in here we have two extra items in here we've got combined by Revit category in Revit material and combined by Revit family type and Revit material these along with the earlier versions we've had here before so for example Revit category is here Revit family is here so just to give you a comparison if I clicked on Revit category here with my materials everything else and I click on OK here now what you see is that we can import a Revit, ca Revit model by categories here so I just select all those categories ceilings doors and and so on so I don't have a lot of categories in this model so here we have the the model come in very simple model here but the important aspect is that it brings in the ceilings the doors as different items in the scene so for example I've got uh, windows down here it's, it brings us all the windows in as a category well what we've done what we have now in 3d studio max 2020 which is a not a concept I really do like actually after working with this in some of the training sessions is that what we can do now with 2020 max is click on import here again like I said I pick the same model up here click on open and with this model here now is that comes through this is exactly the same model but what we do is just change the importation so in the combination rule here combined by Revit category we we could we brought in the Revit by category there but this time if I bring the Revit by category and the Revit material we can do family type and Revit material but I just look at this one uh, as a concept here at the moment so I click on OK here once again it will give us the uh, option of selecting the categories that we wish to bring in but I'll bring them all in for this exercise so here we have the model coming in to max again but this time over here if we look at the importation we see uh, a lot more categorizing here uh, a lot more separation for example those windows here I've got the windows the glass and I've got the windows with the window frames so I, I quite like this that we can very quickly categorize and put these into uh, layers if we wish so we can create our layers we've actually got layers in here now so these layers have coming in with the window frames all in one layer and so on so this is actually a excellent way of, of working within 3D Studio Max as a process of importation from Revit so that's the first aspect of uh, 3D Studio Max 2020 and I think it's quite an important one there's a few other features I'd look at in a moment but for the moment this is the Revit import